in today's video it's gonna be kind of an update on where I've been and what's been going on in my life as of recently because a lot has been happening literally just been so busy with life itself dealing with a lot of change in my life and really good change a lot is evolving in different ways so I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know what's happening um, if you guys haven't already followed me on Instagram go follow me there um, my Instagram is Ask Jazzy, just like this channel. A big elephant in the room that I want to address is I am going to be moving very, very soon. I'm still a very private person, but stuff like this, like, I have been really biding my time and getting all the moving parts together to make everything a smooth transition, but I'm ready to finally tell you guys all that's been happening. So, my apartment has been a holy hellhole for a little bit of time now. Um, just to bring you guys back, if you guys are OG subscribers, you remember, if you go back to Vlogmas 2019, you will remember my old apartment. That apartment was actually pretty nice, I liked it, but at the time I was working from home for a company I was working for, and there was really bad noise, um, coming from my next door neighbor at the time. Um, I think they were like really young kids, and they were throwing parties every day, super loud, screaming, and the wall I had, if you guys recall, it was a brick wall where my office was. And I just opted to switch units. Um, the unit change, if you guys were curious, so I never explained it fully, was I was coming out of a really bad relationship at that time. 2019 was the year I found out that my long-term boyfriend at the time had been seeing someone else. Um, I had a lot of really toxic memories of him being in that unit, in that apartment, and I just wanted to get a brand new clean slate and just be able to have a clean space and just have a space that did not have any of his memories attached to it. Um, one thing I can say is that when I first moved into my complex as a whole, the management was a lot better. Um, they were a lot more professional and they were a lot more proactive. Proactive meaning if there were any issues I should know about, they would always be ahead of the ball and let me know. Or if there was any maintenance issue or any things with the apartment that really they needed to work on, they made sure to follow up on me and make sure everything was good. My experience living here was taken care of and managed properly, right? All of that stopped when I moved into this apartment. Um, I do think that after 2020, everything really started going downhill with this leasing agency or whatever i am currently stuck in right now they do not care they don't care if you have no air conditioning um they don't care if you have rodents in here which i do have a infestation yes a freaking infestation in this apartment we'll get into that in a minute and my sink is broken um just a lot of things that shouldn't have happened happened um, I posted a quick thing to my story just for evidence, just in case I deleted any videos I had on my phone physically. The recent incidents I was going through in this apartment, like my full sink exploded and it was just gushing water. There was nothing I could do. And it was something that was so easily avoidable too. It was something I had been asking them for months and months and months and months. And they should have already had it fixed. It shouldn't be an issue. Whereas I didn't even know this was going to happen. If I hadn't been home that day, I would have had my floors completely ruined because that water was not going to stop. List everything, uh, but I'll go ahead and put probably in the video somewhere all the issues I've had because it's been a lot. And to this day, and I'm talking the whole summer of 2022, these were all issues of even beforehand, um, even before summer, a lot of these things have been happening for the past year and a half. I have had absolutely nothing fixed. It's one of those kind of like quid pro quos where like they come in and if you submit a maintenance request, they have to like fulfill it, but they don't do jack, excuse my language, jack she's naive to fix anything. Um, their little fixes do absolutely nothing. So you keep having to have them come up again and again and again, and nothing ever gets fixed or addressed. That's the point now where I, literally did not feel safe being in here. Um, I'm so skeeved out by rodents and stuff, and I'm 100% understanding that in a apartment, you may have, you know, little things that are like crawling around. It's an apartment, especially in an urban area. But I do have the expectation that I'm not gonna to have to live with them in my building. 
in my apartment where I'm sleeping while I'm eating you know and it got to the point where I was doing all the work I was sending them pictures of the baseboards that had holes in them um trying to get them up here and to this day it doesn't make any sense to me because they enter my apartment without my consent all the flipping time they enter this apartment without my consent they couldn't even make it a point to get in here and fill the holes in the baseboards if it was a dire issue which it should be an issue for them um my safety being here just the lack of competency uh there was a time i went down to the leasing department um their leasing office to get a new key fob to buzz myself in and out of my building i'm not going to believe what happened transpired when i did this i walked in there normal hours and i'm like hi my name is jasmine so and so i am in building so and so room so and so i need a new key fob presented her the key fob not only did she take a half hour of not understanding what to do to fix it or get me a new one she gave me the old one back told me to just wait on her to figure out the problem and that she would call me when she had it figured out didn't give me a temporary didn't have anyone come and help her just told me to go and just go about my day not be able to get into my building into my apartment until she was able to figure it out and tell me why i didn't hear back from her the whole entire day the whole day and not for a follow-up as to what's going on not for a explanation as to the as to the delay just no response and to this day i still don't have a new key fob by the grace of god somehow my old one still works but i'm just like that's the level of incompetency that i'm dealing with the two things that really just broke it for me you know i have an animal i have a cat kate you've seen her she can't be in here by herself and have a whole puddle literally leaking throughout the apartment can't have her drinking any of that nasty toxic water coming out from under the sink um, i can't have a rodent coming in here and biting her and giving her some sort of disease you know without my knowing i those were the two things that they were literally safety concerns at that point i'm not going to delve into too much of that because legally I'm still looking for recourse on that at this time and there are certain things that I will not divulge but I do want to make my grievances known especially on this channel uh, I really have been keeping it to myself because I never want to seem like that person who's just like unreasonable or just you know riffing about everything or just wants to find something to be mad about but this has turned into a situation where I pay a decent amount in rent to live in the metro and it's become inhabitable so number two is I did meet someone if you guys did watch my recent video on my 27th birthday celebrations and you saw a small little sliver snippet of my boyfriend things like my relationship do not really have a place online um do I have any shame in showing him? No, because that is someone I'm with and I'm proudly with, but that is a part of my life that will remain private. He is one of the best people I know, honestly, and I don't like many people, guys. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm not the biggest people person. I think a lot of people are just, uh, just have their own craziness going on, and I'm just very picky with people I think it's time honestly um you know going into maybe a year being together i do want to be moved in with someone moved in with my significant other um, one thing i've mentioned in videos past is having an apartment is a bit of an investment like it's great to have your independence and one thing i will never say is that this was a waste of time oh my god guys like having my own apartment for the last like five years or so has really built a lot of like resilience and like just kind of like real life skills in me that I would have never had if I had not moved out and I'm not throwing any shade but like from the age of 22 and on being on my own and having to figure shit out on my own has been the biggest best character builder 
honestly and I really do recommend that um, it's not the same as because before 22 um, I've always been out there on my own per se but I've had roommates um, I've had people that were doing room share situations so it was always split rent but from the age of 22 23 I've been by myself up until the age of 27 and I'm not trying to put it as a badge of honor like single lady you know independent woman strong woman but just male or female I do think that 22 23 past that you should really be getting real world experience there's only so much you can learn under the loving care of family and friends you know sometimes you just have to branch out and just be able to care for yourself because in life there will be points where you have to you may not always be able to depend on someone and that is the brutal honest truth and that is something i've learned is one of my strongest suits but also one of my downfalls because it is good to be able to depend on people and being super overly independent isn't always a good thing but i do think it's something that i'm happy i learned i know about you know the cost of not paying rent um you know not being able to just skip out on certain things otherwise you'll lose your apartment you'll lose your car you'll lose a lot of things that you can't afford to lose you essentially have to just show up for yourself and do those things to close out the video as well i did want to mention a really really big thing I recently have opened a boutique it is called Bella Mafia Boutique. It is very, very cute, skate clothing for a sultry side of life, if you will. I'd love it if you guys did check it out. I will link everything in the description of this video as well as have the website somewhere here so you guys can go and search it up. New inventory always being posted on there and I am sending out free PR packages to anyone that is really interested in trying out my product. All I ask is that you do post on your Instagram stories or your Instagram a quick little snippet of the PR box and what you look like wearing it and that's all I ask. Just, you know, promoting small business really does go a long way. I'm just so happy in my life right now. I'm doing a lot of really positive, positive things and I'm in a good place and yes things are gonna be changing that's it i said everything i wanted to say that was a lot in this video thank you guys so so much for watching i will be back as soon as i can i promise you guys with way more amazing awesome content that you guys will love um hopefully <laughs> leave a thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy it and as always guys be well be safe and take care peace out